Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Web Dots. Today I am going to discuss the fourth principle of solid design principle which is interface segregation principle. In short, we call it ISP. And this session is for beginners and I will try to make it super simple for you. Okay, let's move ahead. So I have already explained all these principles and the link is given in the description of this video. So you can go there and watch all these in short. But today I will discuss in detail interface segregation principle. So what is the golden rule for interface segregation principle? It says clients of a class should not be forced to depend on those of its methods that they don't use. It means only the one which are required for the client they should only implement those interfaces in the class okay so like the single responsibility principle like we have already seen in the first principle for classes the interface segregation principle states that an interface should be limited to containing only methods that are relevant to a single responsibility okay and by reducing the complexity of the interface the code becomes easier to refactor and understand so the term that we are using reducing the complexity means we are making it smaller so that they are easy to understand and implementable so let's have a look for an example if you see this interface I mean because this is the world of online uh, shopping so I'm taking this example and I will try to make it super easy for you so this is I order processor and it contains three methods validate card info validate shipping address and processing order earlier this interface was created for online order processor but now for example if we add one more type of uh, order processing which is cash on delivery order processor so do you think this interface is good enough for this type of order processing obviously not why because in cash on delivery order processor we don't need to verify the card information because it will be cash on delivery right so that's why this interface is not valid so let's understand few more points so many client specific interface are better than the one general purpose big fatty interface so it means it doesn't mean that we should implement this i order processor interface with the same methods with this client cash on delivery order processor right we should create a new one an important benefit of adhering to this principle in a system is that it aids in decoupling a system by reducing the number of dependencies okay if this cash on delivery order processor is not dependent upon validate card info so we should create a one another interface that should fulfill the need of this right so we should implement multiple interfaces where required for example in this case so we will create this interface into two part like i order processor it contains validate shipping address and validate process order it contains in both the cases either it is online or cash on delivery but the uh, in, we will create one more which is i online order processor that contains validate card info and we will implement this only in online order processing i hope this very simple example uh, you understood it very well right okay let's move ahead so in the previous uh, recorded session i explained this one this is a different completely different example if in short i will explain this so you can see uh, initially i have one interface which is i print task it contains three things print content photocopy content and print duplex content for example hp laser printer cannot do the photocopy content task and canon printer cannot perform print duplex content so what will happen if you try to implement this interface for HP laser chat and Canon MG2470 so we have to provide the default implementation or dummy implementation so that we can use this interface so we can transform this into a new one where I can divide this interface into three different smaller interface are meaningful as well 
I print content, I photocopy content and I print duplex and I can implement these interfaces accordingly where required, right? Okay. Now understand few more important things. When we are talking about object oriented application uh, are maintained, so the interfaces to existing classes and components often change, right? We receive time to time requirements where we need to perform changes. And one more important point, if you are not about if you are not aware about the object oriented programming concepts and OOPS principle, so links of those videos are also given in the description of this video. You can go there and watch them. Okay, so let's continue. So sometimes these changes have a huge impact and force the recompilation and redeployment of very large part of the system. So in it is part of day to day life of a developer, right? We generally do this and we, we face all these changes. So this impact can be mitigated by adding new interfaces to existing objects rather than changing the existing interface, right? We can, add, we can simply add new ones so we don't need to retest the whole system. So if clients of the old interface wish to access methods of the new interface, so they can query the object for that and they can use it. So a solution to having a better code always comes down to a word small it means we are talking about a small interface a small classes right and a small methods so these are ultimately advantages as well so if you like to split your code into smaller chunks it will be easier to change and maintain it right so how the actual classes look like that i was talking about this is i order processor it contains a little shipping address process order and this is another interface i online order processor right and this is our class for online order processor it is implementing both the interface i order processor and i online order processor and it is it is implementing all three methods process order validate shipping address and validate card info and if i talk about the cash on delivery order processor where we need to only implement i order processor it contains two methods which is validated shipping address which is correct and process order so i hope it is clear for you now what is interface segregation principle okay so if you have any question any comment you can leave into the comment box and i will try to apply on that as soon as possible and i strongly um, uh, uh, need your feedback that's the only inspiration for me to create such videos either you like it or don't like it and uh, and I will see you in the next video where we will explain the last principle of solid which is dependency inversion. Until then, take care. Bye bye. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can also show your support with super thanks. Thank you. Bye bye.